What it do, ready crew? I'm Jasmine, this is Janelle, and you watching DJ Ready. Right, we're finna watch this hot, hot ones. ones. Now it's Post Malone. That boy look ugly. He's so ugly. Just came out with the uh with the album Stony. He got a whole lot of old songs. I just looked it up. He has old songs, but go check it out, man. We're gonna react to this uh, hot ones, man. Subscribe to hot ones. <laughs> It looked like he's stressing as soon as this joint started. They got the best. And the boy got his glasses upside down. They got one of the best interviews in the game. Why? Because uh, you, you gotta eat hot food while you take the interview. Oh, yeah. Questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by Post Malone. What's going on, bro? Hey, the fresh off the purpose tour. Just let me talk about his hair, man. Stony is set to drop on December night. That's it. Welcome to the show. He needed to put some gel on. How are you with hot food? I used to get I mean, braids, like put it. gel on it. I don't know how. That boy drinking beer, you gotta know what it is. Yeah, that's all he drank. Really? Yeah, he was drinking beer on the breakfast club. I feel like it was six in the morning, no, hot ninety-seven. He was drinking beer. I'm ready to get weird. He said that's his water. He drink beer like water. He got a beer gut. I ain't seen it yet. Hot ones, man. Hot. Wings for Post Malone. Come on, the best. Bonus wings. That's what I do. Bonus wings. More chicken. Stress him more. Sriracha. Do you like it? Yeah. It's zingy. So you credit Guitar Hero for inspiring you to learn guitar and in a way kind of paving the way for your music career. I feel like there's a lot of people that are like, you know, why play Guitar Hero? when you could play real guitar. Right. And you know, Prince said that too. As long as you develop a love for music any way that you develop it, and you take it to, you know, the real world, I feel like it's, you know, I feel like it's the same. Are there any he looks like a hippie, that like kind a... of mirror your life? Any other ones that are super know. important to you? Skyrim. You don't need friends with that video. Right? I think he likes the messy look. Live your life. He you don't care do what he look like on any photo. You can do whatever you want. It's whatever. How many beers do you think it takes for him to get drunk? Probably about a six pack. You burst on the scene in such a fast and extreme way, and when that happens, I sometimes wonder if these sort of on the come up, coming of age moments ever match up to the dreams or the fantasies that you have. They're both wearing so sweaters, so it must some. be cold. And you can kind of tell me. Gonna get hot. One second. Hyper, if it was a little disappointing. Okay, cool. Let's do it. What about your first red carpet? Do you remember that? Remember two beers already. I'm counting. Um, awkward. Whenever people hype me up or whatever, I feel like I, I don't meet the expectations. So I'm just like, I don't know what, what you wanted me to do. I don't know. It's like Ricky Bobby. Yeah. It's like, what do I do with my hands? Oh, your first time flying private. That was worth it. I think my first time flying private, I was going to Vegas with Scott. And we got the smoke on there. And that was like a dream come true. So. How about the first famous person to come up to you as sort of like in a fan way? I think, I think my first experience really came through social media, like with Wiz Khalifa and Mac Miller. When they started like throwing out yeah, the yeah, yeah. Thing. And that was super dope, but I think my first time on the street was on Fairfax. I was just walking down and someone came and took a picture and it's a crazy feeling. That's when you're like, oh shit, <laughs> it's happening. Really happening. Boy said it really happened. Picante de chile habanero. What is he? He's wild. How was that one? Pretty he's good. from Texas. Yeah, it was good. You have the unique distinction of oh. having worked with Kanye West and Justin Bieber. Where a couple of guys, you know, their personal lives Let's seem start so this. impenetrable, but people are so fascinated by them. And I know that you're way too much of a gentleman to give me any sort of details, and I respect that. But I do wonder, just seeing the way those guys move, the seeing the way they work the stage, seeing how they are in the studio, do you see any similarities between the two? They're so driven. Like, they're so driven to, like, a c complete a task. They start something they're gonna finish it every time. I don't know how he does Who's that? a show every Justin night Bieber. for two hours for almost a year. Every night, like he's a superhuman. How about two for you, you know, going from kind of playing small stages at South by Southwest to all of a sudden being on the Purpose Tour. Was there some sort of like superstar crash course that you had to go through or did they just sort of send you out there in front of all those people and are like, perform your set? That's the craziest thing ever. Walking out to a stadium audience, right? You don't know if they're gonna like it. The first time I came out there, everybody was singing the song and everybody knew the words to the song. I was so nervous and it never got better the whole time. <laughs> took the same, same yeah, feeling. no, it's the same feeling. It's terrifying. <laughs> because you're in like weird places like Saskatoon. <laughs> right. And like Broken Tree, Iowa. 
I don't know if that's a place. But, but it sounds like it. Yeah, no, it sounds good. Boy making up his own place. Yeah, boy might get you drunk. Your bites? Drinking all that beer. You're taking. So you can gauge? Mm -hmm. Or are you like one of our commenters and you think there's like some sort of conspiracy and I'm not even actually taking bites? <laughs> Conspiracy guy, mm -hmm. but you, you are. are. Yeah. So this next part of the show is called Explain That Graham, and you've seen the show before, so you know how it works. We've done a deep dive on your Instagram. We've pulled some pics that we think need more context. We'll just show you the picture, and you tell me the bigger story. You better get yeah, the go move. Laptop, please. We're ready for the move. Hell yeah. Milk and barely sounds kind of nasty. All right. So this it one's interesting. You and Usain Bolt. Yeah. We were in London, and we went. That's to a nasty mix. Cirque, I think. He was there randomly, and it was a weird club. It was like a weird satanic vibe, with like people dancing with masks on and Real. horns and shit. Next to us, <laughs> there was a lady with a big ass cloud hat. It was just a cloud with rain coming down. It wasn't a lady; it was a boy, but it looked like a lady. What about? He's was weird. Like, what the heck? Like he, you know what? It was. <laughs> it was a lady. Looked like, it looked like looked like a lady. It was his birthday. I think we were in Connecticut. SEAL Team 6 was there, the guys that killed Osama, they were all get, got in free and, and everything. And so he invited me on the bus and um, we just drank and played guitar and just jammed for like two hours with, with, the, with the guys that killed Osama Bin Laden on, on the bus. We text sometimes, so it's like whatever, so whatever. You and Jaden. Yeah. I look fat. Jaden looks good though. That was on the purpose tour. Jaden looks good though. <laughs> and they were tripping. He denied. He he's 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 talking about the This homeless person. I didn't say that. But, but that's, that's what the you could read it. I said, hey, I'm opening for Justin Bieber, dude. So if you could like just let me in. <laughs> this is interesting. You and Justin Bieber, the fuck you post cups set up. Did you guys set up the cups? The cups were they already set up? I didn't do that. He did that. Justin, he's a little up. prankster, a little gooster, gaster. Okay, tell me what the <laughs> number It took him some time. It took him at least an hour. He put some thought into it, really some time. There's like full-blown art no, there's, no, there's art. This is art. Like, we wanted to make this a, a mixtape cover or something. He got me good. I still haven't got him back yet. I think I'm gonna steal his dog. That's good. That's a good, that's a good one. There you go. <laughs> Watch out for Esther, man. Yeah, right. there you at? I got you. <laughs> I don't want to take his dog, man. This ain't a bad sauce, kid. Thank you. Oh, thank thank you. you. This, and that's a good sauce. I respect your aesthetic. What do you think of the bottle? What do you think of the design? I think it looks great. I think it's minimalist. Mm -hmm. That's what you're going for. Ooh, what I is that? It really speaks for itself. Minimalist. Um, it's got a great texture. That's what he said. I ain't hear what he said. started getting tatted when you really started making money and drawing eyeballs and just judging by what I'm looking at right now, that ship has definitely left the port. Do you still have, what do you have, four, fa you oh, have four faces? Oh, right? but I thought that was I thought that was there, I thought that was there, Come on, man. It might be. That must be new. Yeah, that's very good. Do you know who's no, next on your fingers? I want to do uh, Hank Williams Sr., mm -hmm. Jim Morrison, Steve Ray Vaughn, Bank Row. I, I think I might, I might have to take this one, do one here and do one here just to fit all the legends. I got on my Steve-O wave. Okay. So I got me tatted on me. Really? But it's more of a... I have a picture. Does somebody have a picture? It's, it's me on a horse. It's not done yet. It's me on a horse. It's subtle. It's not like It doesn't sound ass, subtle. It's not a big ass picture of my face on my back or something. It's like... it's So we, we find a picture of a guy on a horse riding. And oh, yeah, right. we just put my this face on it. But it's tiny. It's like that big. This is not, not that subtle. Angry. This is not that's subtle. subtle. That's Could subtle. Could you hold this up to that camera? That's subtle. You should see it's like this big. <laughs> and nobody would notice unless I told them. That boy wildin', man. That boy pose wildin'. It's Aruga blood orange scorpion pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. It's quite a title. I love how you can jump into it. At this point, do you hate your life? Mm -hmm. Comment boneless or bone in. Team Bone In, you already know what it is. Oh, now you know what's happening. I don't like it. Now you, know you get it. Now you understand it. Yeah, that's good. All right, Fuck. so. <laughs> that boy's stressing now. Because we got more pictures to look at. Because whenever you take pictures with animals, the internet goes crazy. All over the internet. It's too much cuteness. It's so much cuteness. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is once again show you some of these pictures. Ooh, and you can that one look like you didn't. Ooh. What's happening? Oh my god, the exorcism. Okay. Little constipated, man. It's a large crab. So this is a large sea creature. <laughs> we were in Maine. Yeah. 
We were in Maine, we just had done a show. And he said, yo, we make a shitload of money doing uh, lobsters. He talks slower when they get out of the heat. <laughs> but trying to breathe. So I figured, you know what? Let me go see what it's about. Let me see. Well, why are you looking like that in the I picture? I know, like. It's fine. So I think he just looked like that. I think he's trying to look like the lobster's face. I think he just looks like that. Yeah, that's my little guy. Now he be trying to look like the animals. He looked like the dog there, too. Yeah, he's got a lot of energy. Creatures, animals, whatever it is. Shoes. I know that's typical dog stuff, but... What's like the most expensive? Look. He's duck. He had a... Put him next to a duck. loafers. I didn't read it. He just put his regular face right. Because he's a duck. Your fans might be surprised, or at least some of them, that this is not a new Oh, it's cold beer. It's true, your stepmom should you press your suits. When you go to junior high, you wear suits in junior high. I had to have, I had to have uh, everything all bleak. That's a very interesting thing for someone who's in middle school to do, to come to school every day in a suit. Well, I wanted to be my dad. So I would slick my hair back, I had short hair. Um, and I just, you know, tucked in my shirt. I did everything perfectly pleated and perfectly starched. Um, I was super fly. But how do the kids I was said, I was super fly. treat the kid who wears a suit to school every day? Is that a cool thing to do or do they tease you? They make fun of you? <laughs> That's a great question. You know, I've had my fair share of uh, kids used to throw gum in my hair. They used to throw gum in Look at me now, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he had to get that out. Yeah. Is it on me? Very hot way. But you know, um, it was tough. I had my own, I was an individual. And people don't like that. Right. People don't like when you're different from them and you go against the norm. This wing is hot. But I respect <laughs> because you did it every day anyway. Yeah, fuck it. And I still do shit. I still do shit. Only you can appreciate the genius that is you. And everybody has a genius in themselves. Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna die with the feelings of these people. You're gonna die yourself. Right. So you just have to love who you are and do what you want to do, whatever makes you happy. Come on. <clears throat> Swag. Swag. Mm. Boy, swagging, man. It's time for this already. God, Jesus Christ. Are we moving a little too fast for you? No, fuck that. How you feeling? <laughs> you know what? Dude, fuck it, bro. <laughs> Dude, fuck it. Fuck Dude, it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Dang, I want some bonus wings. Right. You already ate wings, son. I already ate wings today. I don't know what it is. We're talking about Chicken Express. What were you? Were you? It was you, Justin. Uh, at the were you in the kitchen? When you worked at Chicken Express, what were you doing? Um, a little bit of everything. I started out as a packer. And a packer, you see the order on the screen. Yeah, fuck this shit. <laughs> He still got two more bottles. Mm -hmm. Goddamn. As a connoisseur of fast food, I feel like you're the perfect person to put some of these regional fast food. I want to know if it's back. like a. South, I think, you know, what kind of hot it is, you know? The like, East Coast is kind of like where these are. Uh, but what you want to call it says it about Rachel Ray? She you like explains the taste. There's no contest. So what did she say? It's, oh, it's got that crisp to, to chicken ratio. And there, I think for me, the Zach sauce is way too salty. Chick fil A or Bojangles? Chick fil A. Chick fil A, why? It's like a sit down restaurant that is fast food. <clears throat> I think it's the best airport restaurant. What do you think of that? Uh, I agree. Agree. I agree. Bojangles? Went from Texas to LA, so I think I that you that. can chime in on this one. What a burger or In N Out? Well, what a burger. Oh. I never tried In N Out. I never tried In N Out. <laughs> Like a fucking little fucking really little patty, bro. I need something with some fucking hair on this chest, cuz. <laughs> that went crazy. It ain't even that hot. It ain't even that hot. Oh, you got me fired up with that Whataburger comment, bro. Come on, you already know, cuz. You already know, cuz. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now, if I, if I was in a room post Malone, I feel like I'd be laughing the whole time. <laughs> Weirdo. For real. Fuck that wing. Mm. Just cuz of stuff he say. 
I know you're a lifelong Dallas Cowboys. I think the way he is, period. He gonna like, smoke the blunt. F that blunt. That post, lots of laps. He gonna be just tripping. It don't even hurt though. It don't even hurt. That's the best part. I can't even feel it. What was it like to play Jerry Jones's holiday party? Oh, Jerry Jones. <laughs> what do you remember about that night? My dad performing with me. Your dad performed with me. It bothers me that he keeps yeah. drinking beer with milk. Like, what you gonna have an unsaid stomach for real. I think Too Young's your best song. Thank you, sir. Sir. <laughs> too Young. That's that jam, though. Fuck you for giving me this wing, though. I don't think he'll dab it. No, he might dab it. He gonna dab it. He's gonna say F it too. Oh. All right. He put his glasses on backwards. This last wing. But that's how it is. Yeah, that's how it is. Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage. Mega Death is a great band, and so is Rage. Both great bands. Well, together we'll see how this smoothie works out. Jesus. I had some bass. We dabbed the last wing. It's sort of a tradition around here. Post, you don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, it's it's with it. Cut. Oh. <laughs> cut. 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 It was fucking excellent. Whoa. <laughs> Stop doing that move, bro. You're blowing my fucking brain, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you, though. I'm spilling everything over here. Every time I move the table. That's alright. That's alright. It's on us. We have a very wobbly table here. It has been for like 50 episodes. I just put like a piece of paper under there for you. Do you think That's where the piece of tape was for. I used to do that at school. Put a piece of paper under there. Why do you take the bite? Yes. It's a very big time for sauce. Cowboys receiver Cole Beasley, too much sauce when he dances. <laughs> Gucci, worried about getting lost in the sauce. If you don't got no sauce, man, you get lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce. Okay. Hey, hey. I think he's speaking that real. <laughs> what I want to do is while we're dying on this sauce, which happens to be Blair's Mega Death Sauce with Liquid Rage, I want you to take a bite and then try to explain to me what sauce is exactly? When you're when you say I'm saucing on you, what the hell does that even mean? Does that sound good? Uh, what? Like, like. <laughs> Come on, man. Cheers, Pope. Is that guy drinking beer with him? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I think he is. Oh yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is the craziest thing. Yeah. <laughs> this is dog. I love how there's Jupiter. A sauce to me <clears throat> is the way that you carry yourself, what makes you an individual. Um, you know what makes you you, what makes you unique, and what makes you better than somebody who hates you. Heading toward, heading toward the country, which city has the most sauce? Dallas. Yeah. Made the most sauce at Kylie Jenner's birthday. Me. Thank Kanye. What's your favorite Chick Fil A sauce? Is it that Polynesian buffalo sauce? It's the buffalo yes, sauce. Sir. The buffalo sauce is the best. Post. You made it through. You cleared the board. It was incredible. It was intense. Did you have fun doing it? Yes. Right. This camera, that camera, or that camera? Let the people know. Everybody look at all of them. <laughs> Hey, this is Post D. Um, we got an album coming out uh, December 9th. It's called Stony. <sighs> it's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I hope it's the best thing you've ever heard. Um, it's lit. Turn up. Fuck this weed. <laughs> I feel bad for him because his album came out the same time as J. Cole's. You gotta know what it is. J. Cole all the way. <laughs> Alright man, if you like this reaction video, like, comment, subscribe and If you want out. us to react to something Put it in the comments And we out We out